So this is how you stream via console, via PC, PlayStation, Xbox. Let's get it, man. So let's start off with the easiest way to stream, and that's going to be via console. And multi-streaming wise, you're going to need some form of computer. Yes, there are little other ways, blah, blah, blah. No, you're going to need some form of computer if you want to multi-stream. And multi-stream is when you stream into YouTube and Twitch or whatever the other place is at the same time. So the stream on PlayStation, pretty simple. It's the exact same amount of simpleness on Xbox. You go to your broadcast. And you want to make sure, hold on, I got to actually start a game first. Crazy game to start. But uh, <laughs> I press my little share button to the left, go to broadcast. And you make sure you have your accounts linked. I don't have my Twitch linked. Boom, I could go here, link my Twitch account. It's as simple as click and go live. You go here, enter all of this information because I'm already signed in on my YouTube. And you click go live. It is that simple, whether that's Twitch, whether that's YouTube on PlayStation. Now, on Xbox, for some reason, it looked like y'all can't go live on YouTube. I'm actually editing here. If the Xbox guys want a video on how to stream from Xbox to YouTube, I mean, you're going to need a computer, but it'll be in the description below. Really good video. It seemed like Twitch is the only place y'all can go live directly from y'all console. Crazy, but you're going to need a PC in order to do that if you want to stream using a pc from your console and you don't have a graphics card what you're going to need to do is i don't know if xbox has an equivalent but playstation wise you want to go and download playstation remote play whether that's mac and whether that's windows for me it's windows so i will click here and download my windows version click here and we gonna click download windows pc Make sure you go through the process of installing it. And once you get PlayStation Remote Play, excuse all of my damn apps in the background. Chill on me. Once you get PlayStation Remote Play, you want to sign into your PlayStation account. Confirm and continue. Bam. So whether that's PS4 or PS5, I'm going to connect to my PS5. Or it's already enabled because I use my phone, but it tells you exactly what you need to do to enable remote play. Boom. So what we're going to do is we're going to do that. And you're gonna sign into your console using remote play. Now let's get over to the actual TH. Hold on, let me move this over here. Remote play can have its own thing. Now we are in OBS. You guys don't know nothing about OBS. You gotta set up scenes, you gotta do all of that. So basically, I'm gonna just keep it simple. You're gonna have a scene already set up, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to sources and you're gonna go to add. Once you go to add, you want to make sure your microphone is added. Whatever that microphone is for you, you click add your microphone. Jesus Christ, it's too damn loud. Calm the fuck down. Hold on, mute that shit, mute that shit. Uh, but that's going to sign you in over there. And what you're going to do is you're going to click your mic. Boom. When you Once you do that, you're able to pick what mic you want to use. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to click cancel because I already got my mic. My mic added. You're going to delete that. Craziness happened. All right, so to add... Your remote play, basically, after you do that, you've signed in. It's open on another window. It's right here. You know what I'm saying? We have it open. We're going to big screen it on my other monitor right here. Boom. And with that up, I'm going to go down here, press the plus button right there. And we're going to add a window capture. Or you could do the display capture if you want to capture the whole monitor. My advice to you would just be to do the window capture. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to just say remote play. Click OK. And then, I mean, you named it that, so it's damn near gone. Look for you, boom. Boom, hold on. Go here. So if you guys have this issue where it's popping up as a black screen for remote play, I mean, it's a couple simple fixes you can do. Like I said, you can go and run that as a window capture, which is what I was just capturing there. It's the source down there. I'm gonna go back over here. You would go window capture and just capture everything on your monitor or what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to run OBS as administrator and it'll take away that as um, you run it as a black source. You know what I'm saying? Just go there. Boom. Like I said, but you can also just do that and you're cool. And that's how you're able to stream. And then uh, sign into your streaming platform on OBS. OBS is a, a beast within itself. So if you guys want a video on OBS, let me know. But you go into OBS, you'll click files up here. You're going to click settings. And when you click settings, you're going to go to stream. 
and stream, you're going to sign in your streaming platform. That's it. You're going to sign in your streaming platform. And you're going to do that. That's how you do that. And that's also how you stream using OBS. You know what I'm saying? But that's that's without a graphics card. If you have a graphics card, then you'll be adding in your P5 source like this. You're going to go there and then you're going to go to video capture device and it will just be boom. You're going to click OK. And whatever that capture card is for me, it's my Aver Media. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what my P5 is looked to. I got an Aver Media. I got the 4K capture card. If it's anything else, you guys will pick that. But that's basically what mine is. So I will click that. Boom. It'll be there. It's a different one. If you want to add your camera, you add a camera source, lighting, all of that is all these other things. So that's basically in exact same thing for Xbox. You add in that source, whatever capture card you're using. Boom. There you go. And if you want to multi stream, you're going to have to download. You know what? That's another video within itself as well. If you guys want any of these videos that I'm talking about, make sure you let me know in the description below. But shouts out to bro. He wanted this video. So for the video for you, we cool and we doing our thing. If you're about any other thing you want to know streaming wise, make sure you just click that playlist in the description below. And I got you.